I think there's two things going on here. What one is changing preferences and interests of shoppers of how they receive and how they engage with information. So it's a little bit about commerce everywhere. It's about being where your shoppers are present. The, the second is this fun, fascinating evolution that's going on in physical stores. So let, let's, let's think for a moment about a, a, a pendulum. Mm -hmm. And a couple of years ago, you know, if we were having this conversation 2018, 2019, we'd be having this great conversation about uh, entertainment, retail entertainment, how to make the stores experiences. Mm -hmm. Right, experiences, then, right. Yeah. Exactly. And then what did we do in 2020, 2021, for all the reasons that we know about, it, 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 you know, all this experience went out the window and it came to, you know, let's just get stuff on the curbside to, to be able to get it to people. Right. Uh, and, and that swing from experience to functional. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, well where, where's that pendulum swinging now? And that's, the question that we're really really interested about yeah how 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 do we get the mix of excitement for shopping and put the and the fun in shopping and you know product discovery whether it's online or in store so what does that look like at the same time as recognizing the you know, you've only got to look at the social media landscape to see you know, one of the reasons that TikTok is becoming so popular is that people are much more interested in engaging with entertaining content rather than necessarily informative content. So as a brand, how do you get your brands in those places? What does making those shoppable look like? And how do they blend together? So live streaming, shoppable video, how does that fit into you know, making online shopping, which has done a fantastic job of being very efficient buying, how do you make that more entertaining, whilst physical spaces have potentially gone a bit too um, kind of buying focus. How do we bring the joy and the discovery back into those spaces? So with those dynamics together are creating a really interesting platform that we're going to be exploring in a whole number of sessions. That's really fascinating to me, Ben. I've never thought about that, actually. Like, what what you just described there is like, yeah, this physical store has actually become more of this place for convenience, get it done, and do it really efficiently. Mm -hmm. Whereas the online space is actually going towards the direction of like, let's get even more amped up on the entertainment side of things, which had you gone back three or four years ago, that was not what we were talking about. Right. We were talking about how do you yeah. enliven the store? And that could have been misdirection all this time.